As recovery from Adelia continues, President Joe Biden made his way to North Central Florida to visit affected areas. TV 20's Ethan Badowski tells us about Air Force One's arrival in Gainesville. It's an honor, no matter what your political party is, to have the President of the United States come to the town where you live. President Biden landed in Gainesville around 1 p.m. in front of a large crowd of spectators. Some arrived more than an hour early to take in the display, which included four Marine Osprey helicopters. Couldn't feel my own heartbeat with them revving up like that. I was, I was even feeling it in the ground vibrating, you know, from them revving up. It is certainly, they are certainly powerful pieces of equipment. Air Force One landed and was escorted back towards the terminal by three of the Ospreys. There, President Biden and the First Lady were greeted by Gainesville Mayor Harvey Ward, Alachua County Commission Chair Anna Prizia, and Live Oak Police Chief Eugene Keith Davis. And there it is over my left shoulder, Air Force One. And a worker with the University Air Center told me the last time a president visited Gainesville and Air Force One was George W. Bush when he was campaigning for re-election. It gives you that personable feeling. I mean, a lot of world leaders, you don't get to see them face to face. All you ever get to see them is through a TV or through a spokesperson or a mouthpiece. You know, the U.S. is kind of one of those few places you can actually physically see and then potentially interact. Shortly after landing, the president and first lady boarded Marine One and took off for an aerial tour of areas affected by Hurricane Idalia. It's very necessary. It's very moving to see the damage that they've had is, is just extremely sad. Um, I, I feel confident, though, that between the government and the people, I'm sure they'll bounce back. Following his visit to Live Oak, Biden departed back to Delaware around 6 p.m. In Gainesville, Ethan Badowski, TV 20 News.